All right. Got a new mat. Sorry about the late start. Had a bit of connection issue. All right. So today we'll be making moon cakes. There are several types of moon cakes actually. But today we'll be making something called a uh, snow skin moon cakes. So if you look at my model, if I'm looking at a certain angle, that's because I'm looking at screen. Okay, so today I'll be making five different flavors. And I might only do three on stream, depends, because it will take some time and it's quite repetitive. So before we start, let's have a history lesson, alright? So Mid Autumn Festival, or Zhong Chiu Jie, has been around for a very long time. And there's many, many stories regards to its legend. The more popular one will be when Ho Yi, uh, uh, essentially a hero that shot down the 10 suns that rose in the past and saved the world, essentially. And to thank his deed, uh, Immortal gave him an elixir, an immortal elixir. And he didn't want to pass on to be an immortal, so he passed the bottle to his wife, Chang Er. So I'm pretty sure Chang Er Ho Yi, for those that are Mobile Legends players, may heard of them, or League players, if I'm not wrong. And those two, essentially Chang Er had a fight with this guy, a rival of Ho Yi. And Chang'e drank the elixir to protect it, and in there went to the moon. So every time you see Mid Autumn Festival, it's always associated with moons, rabbits, and also a lady. That lady is probably Chang'e. Right. So this year, Mid Autumn Festival is on 10 of September. And yesterday, I already made the traditional big one I'll show it to you later if I remember to bring it over but I've already actually started preparing some of the stuff for the snow skin moon cake and we'll be getting down to it but first there's hands hands if you're wondering what I'm wearing I'm currently wearing my chef uniform from my school yes I really meant it in my bio when I say I'm a trained pastry chef <laughs> alright so I had, I have the stuff here. Can you see it? Chat. Yeah. Let me tilt it. The camera angle is terrible, honestly. Yeah. Right. I hope the audio is okay. Hold on. Let me check a second. Okay, audio is okay. There's no lag. That's very good. Very good. Okay, let's get this baby out. Oof. Again, sorry for the scuff audio. My mic is not here yet. <laughs> it's very ugly. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like a very ugly mashed potato or cauliflower, honestly. Okay. We'll be making five flavors. So what we'll be doing is coloring those five flavors I suppose but first let's weigh this thing first I have a scale off to the side it's not on, on, on set but it's there I will usually do the coloring when I finish mixing the mix, uh, this dough but for the sake of the stream I'll be doing it now I don't know how it will turn out okay honestly wait let me weigh the whole thing how heavy is this This dough weighs 168.5. Oh wow, almost 69. Wow, dang it. Ah, okay. I can't do the math. Someone please do the math. Pull up. Eh. Calculator. Okay. 
Open, please. I need you. Thank you. <laughs> One, six, eight, zero grams divided by five. Eh? Ah, three, three, six. Okay. Hmm. Up this bit too much. <laughs> yeah, close enough. Is a set. This could be the blueberry flavor. Yes, we have one blueberry cheesecake that I'm making. I'll try out how it will turn out. I'm not sure. First time making it. <sighs> no. Do I have enough? I hope I have enough. So if you're wondering how I made this dough, this is actually a pre-mix that I got off the store. Because making a snow skin mooncake without a pre-mix is a pain in the ass, honestly. It will require 60, like, many types of flour like glutinous rice flour, rice flour and all that sorts which honestly I won't use much other than this occasion and you require to steam the dough I don't want to steam the dough, that's a waste of time honestly if you ask me I'm a very lazy chef, I'm sorry <laughs> yeah. Have I tweeted out? I think I did. Oh well, I'll check later. Let me finish cutting this though. Eh. It's like a block of cheese at this point. <laughs> it's a mess on screen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Woo, don't drop. What is this block then? What the heck? One, two, three, four. Eh? Two, four. Eh? What is this? I have an extra block. <laughs> oh wow. This is the spare block. I'll keep it to the side over here. Okay. I'll keep this all to the side first. Whoa, 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 no, 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 that's a bad idea. Why did I do that? Oh gosh. I just mixed all the things. <laughs> I just measured out. Okay. Man, I'm just gonna leave it on the table as a mess, but eh. <laughs> Hold on, let me check whether the tweet is out. Tweet, uh, oh. Right, it's, it's tweeted out. Okay, good, good. So, I'll leave one block white, actually. That's for the lotus paste flavoured. Uh, we can start with... What's the lightest colour? Mm. In case you're wondering, my colours are all here. Oh, you can't see. Can you see? Wait, let me move. My colors. <laughs> okay, we start with green. This is green. Green over here. I'm trying to block off the logo. This is for the green tea flavor. What I usually do, let's shift it over and move you out of the way. Okay, focusing on this here. Oh, no, disaster. Eh, this is the green. I like to just pour. It's not a good thing, honestly. Just pour in. And massage the heck out of it. I do it quite a bit. Pour it in. Oh, don't run away, color. Come back. Come back. I'm sorry if I. It's a lot of background noises at the back. Hey. 
the BGM okay? Hold on. Oh, I'm checking. Oh, it's okay. There's a reason why I decide always to do the colouring before <laughs> anything else. It's gonna be very difficult to colour on. It's okay, you have just use a liberal amount of colour. Just keep kneading it, it will eventually colour on. So this premix causes the dough to be very clumpy for some reason. You know why? It's always like this. So initially at the start it's not that, that clumpy, but after resting it for a bit, it does this for some weird ass reason. It makes it very difficult to get color on. I should have colored it earlier. It's okay. Okay, the color is getting there slowly, slowly. It takes time. It'd be easier if you did it before. We rest the dough, but it's okay. Oh, my back hurts. Ah, the table is so low. We don't want this patchy patchy looking I think. So again okay, more colour. Keep adding. Oh there's a lot. Oh gosh. Don't leak everywhere. Eh, come back. Shall I have you know my setup is very scarf. I, I need to show you. I'll upload a picture on Twitter after stream, but it is a very scarf setup. Oh yes. <laughs> the colour's getting there. Why did I start with green? I have no idea. But yes, green. It's gonna be very a lot of kneading. Eh. Eh, color, why are you not going on? Eh, I'm just gonna pour more. That's alright. This point, I'm gonna finish my bottle. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, I got green on my uniform. Well, oh. how am I supposed to explain that to my chef? I think bleach will get it out. It's okay. I try to look up at screen why me, but it's <coughs> difficult. Come back. Man, this really hurts the back. I really can't stream this for long. The table is too low. <laughs> I need to get those standing tables, you know. Which you can adjust the height of. Okay, I think we're almost there. Just a bit more colour. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry for the sniffling. I have my AC on. It's cold. Oh, the color's getting there. So while uh, I need, I'll start to explain a bit of the two other flavors that, I mean not two, five other flavors I have. So the green is for green tea, white is for lotus paste. And for anyone, lotus paste this is essentially the lotus seed. They grind that seed into powder, add a few other stuff and becomes the paste. Don't ask me, I don't know how it is made. I know it's a tedious progress, process. That's it. So I like to fold and punch it in. That makes sense. It's still a bit patchy, but it's okay. The dough is always like that for some reason. And after resting the dough, it's very elastic. I set up everything and I realized I forgot one item. And you know what that is? A rolling pin. <laughs> but it's alright. You don't need one, I think. I hope. Heat. Oh yeah, the flavors. We got chocolate. I got the brown color for a reason. That's for chocolate. Green for green tea. White for lotus paste. We have blue. I can't decide between blue or purple for blueberry cheesecake. And uh, I've got lemon cheesecake as well. I, I think that it's either orange or yellow. Or maybe I will, I will do a mix of both, like a marble effect. We'll see how it goes. So you see the colour from the start as compared. Very big difference. So you want this colour. It's good enough. We just set this aside first. Into this corner. Right. Be working with the next colour. Eh. Hmm. Brown. Is the brown? Brown. This is the brown we have. Oh, the dough is very oily. I can't open it. Oh god. <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> did I not open this before I trip? Wow, sure it is. Hold up. My tray is low. Oh no. Please don't die. Okay, I plugged in my laptop. <laughs> I forgot the battery was low. Okay. My cable was tangled up. Sorry. Let's get back to the brown. I still can't open it. Okay, open it. Hee. Or some. Is this paste? I know it's not. It smells like nothing. Ooh. I don't know how brown this is. I never tried it before. With the green I have, but not the brown. Oh, it's black. It looks black. The past few years, when I made chocolate flavor, I've been adding cocoa powder into the mixture, dough mixture, to get a brown. But I get a very, very stringy dough, like what I have right now, because I think I rested it too long, but it's okay. It'll just be very difficult to work with afterwards, but it's fine. It's not the first time I've done this. Probably won't be the last. Oh no, it looks like what? Dark soy sauce. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's leaking. The bottle, bottle is leaking. Ah, color. Come back. Hmm. I should probably pour a liberal amount, seeing how the green took so much. 
it's so thick I think it's more of a paste than a liquid as compared to the (uh) green I'm back Oh, it looks like crap. <laughs> okay. I actually was thinking for the cheesecake flavors. Should I get some? Not so not get some. Should I make some base? Like the digestive biscuit, the typical cheesecake base, biscuit base. Because I do have digestive biscuit and butter. But I'm not too sure whether to incorporate it as a base or into the the cheesecake itself. And the mooncake. Not cheesecake. <laughs> but um, I'm afraid that the texture will be too weird. <sighs> the brown is taking forever. <sighs> Back hurts. Let me go down lower. Why is it so thick? That's what she said. <laughs> it's taking forever. Color why? I oh, see, you'll find it very easier to colour the dough before you dress it, but that's fine. Hmm. Okay, for a moment I thought stream died. <laughs> to make sure. I was thinking that I should start streaming some games. I was thinking maybe Stardew Valley. I've been wanting to play it for a long time. I heard there's also a co-op version of it. But I'm not too sure about that. Hmm. But currently, I don't think I have anyone to play with. Even if I do, maybe I'll search, search up on Twitter. Like, any Stardew Valley VTubers, hit me up. Can collab someday. Oh, 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 and I plan to do Phasmo. Perhaps a collab. It'd be very sad to play Phasmo yourself. Okay. I'm, I'm sure there are people that done that. Good for them. But, uh... I'll be too scared to speak. And you will probably be facing a very silent stream. Or a stream that has me whispering most of the time okay the brown is almost there oh fly flying door oh my my mat won't be a pretty color afterwards is it fun chat watching me need though because my back is hurting I'm old. Okay, chat, chat. I'm a baku. I'm very old baku. I've been longer than... I've lived longer than humanity itself, I think. I don't know yet to ask my ancestor that. <laughs> Pretty sure they're alive somewhere in the yokai world. I was thinking maybe I should branch out towards Chinese side. And stream both in... Uh, Chinese and English. Oh. In my bio, you can see that I wrote Japanese and Cantonese like a bit, a bit, okay, bit, bit. How do you do a bit, bit? Then no, that's 
Ooh. A bit. Honestly, I wouldn't dare to speak it to a native speaker. I'd probably be ridiculed for my pronunciation, sentence structure, and all that crap. Demigo Nihongo Jozune! But no. In my heart, that's Jozun. Nihongo Jozun des. Nihongo Wakaranai. This is as good as you can get. It's not pretty. It'd be prettier. Okay. But eh, this is good. Alright, the next color. Uh, let me cap this first before I spill brown everywhere. Uh, oh, I have brown on my shirt now also. Uh, blue or purple for moon cake? Blueberries. Uh, this is the blue. That's the purple. Oh, this is the purple. Yeah. I don't know what you look like. This is sky blue actually. I've only used this on Macron. But Macron itself is a bit brown. As compared to the white of this mixture. So, I I know. Okay, like what I said, probably do a marble effect. We do the base as blue, but we do purple marbles. Let's see, let's do that. We split it into half first. Move. Oh. My hands just brown on it. Oh god. <laughs> I should have left brown for the last. Mm. We have blue base. Purple marble. I can't open it. I bottle again. Okay, got it. Blue. This is my favorite color. If you can't tell, <laughs> literally my stream overlay is blue. Very blue. Oh, okay, interesting. On the macron itself, it looks. More turquoise, but this is very pretty. Oh, oh, surprisingly, oh, kind of reminds me of those blue pea mooncakes that they sell in expensive hotels. Oh, should I just leave it like this, chat? Hmm, it's very pretty. Oh, I should do that. Papa, I'm sorry, you're not gonna be used <laughs> as much as I like you as well. Now, nah, the blue is ready. This is the only thing that looks nice without like this way being spotty. Look at it pretty. It kind of reminds me of those China wear. You know those blue, blue white porcelain bowls or like teapots. It looks like that. It reminds me of that. One day we'll use you proper. Not today though. Oh. I do have something special coming out later. If you stick around the stream, you'll probably find out what it is, but okay. Does it look okay? It's quite pretty. It kind of looks like moldy blue cheese or like moldy something. But I think it's pretty. If it doesn't work out, eh. I'll figure out something. It's okay. Most of it will be given to relatives and friends anyways. A bit more blue. It's kind of like a marble texture, but like fun fatty style, I guess. If that makes sense. Okay, I don't know how fun it is for you to see this, but eh, I'm having the time of my life. It's quite fun. Here's the blue. It's done. We leave it like that. <laughs> moldy, moldy cauliflower. Oh wait, I'm not talking about that. I was saying that it looks like cauliflower at the start. Now this is broccoli, very light one. Hehe. <laughs> All right. Mm, oh. Hold up. Let me measure things again.
おっカップルはねこれです次回行くわケイブかキャンパーかブワイトえー、we are not using purple so let's put it aside うん、we're up to our final color yellow or orange I don't know how they will turn out either of those I do have red as well mm. let's just do a bit of test color I guess should we do that? split this small little dough into two I can't open the bottle again Why? Bottle, please open. <laughs> I'll cry. I'm getting dye all over my uniform. Oh my god. Oh, this is orange. I have a bit of blue on my hands, I'm sorry. So recently I've been listening to music on Spotify and uh, on YouTube and I don't know why but the musical Heather I'm sure you guys know or most of you guys should know I don't know has been appearing on my Spotify playlist I mean given the fact that I'm listening to the Spotify playlist called villain mode <laughs> makes sense but I'm digging it I quite like the musical, honestly. Didn't really watch it that much, but it was nice. Like, I watched clips of it, not the full thing. Which is pretty. Uh, no, no, those looks pretty. This is orange. It looks like chewed out gum, oh god. This is yellow. I think it'll go with yellow. Sorry, orange. You're not that pretty. Okay, let me shift things to the side. Good enough. Yellow it is. Oh, where's my tissue? Eh, ah, tissue. Eh, ah, tissue. Got it. Okay. Yellow. Wait, is this yellow? <laughs> okay, it is. Looks orange for some reason. Look, it looks alright, what the heck? Huh? It's still blue, I'm sorry. It's gonna be a Franken colour at this point. Come back here, go. I've seen a lot of VTubers streaming on Twitch instead of YouTube. I'm I, I'm pretty sure it's better reach. Like it's easier for people to find with the text, but Twitch scares me. Twitch culture scares me. <laughs> Plus I don't usually watch things on Twitch. So I'm not too familiar with the site I mean the streaming platform. That's why I'm streaming on YouTube instead. I probably won't get much views or none to be honest if my contents are very subpar but I'm okay with it I'm not here for views and money or not that I'm just here to be do things for fun okay and also educate people on how to make pastry correctly I know there are some very very horrible Horrible, horrible. Oh god, there's orange on my sleeve. Cooks. Streamers. Okay. Not naming any, but they are very, very horrible streamers. We have terrible cooking skills on the internet. And I'll be honest, it's not surprising. <laughs> Given the fact that we don't touch grass that often, I doubt. We would bother cooking 
Ooh. So it's good enough with the tripe. So I mean the other one eating it. Unless they're planning to poison someone. So please do not poison someone. It's dangerous. People die. I'm sorry if I sound breathless. Okay. It's a tiring job meeting though. I should probably be more quiet as well. <laughs> I'm shivering from my room. Being a door in my room. At master time, 12.52 a.m. chat. So, eh. Oh, it's so yellow. It looks orange, chat. You know what is orange supposed to look like? Red? Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Mm, does it? Pretty sure if I use red, it will turn out pink. It looks like blood actually. Please do not cancel me YouTube. This is food dye. This is orange food dye. <laughs> Susan, please do not. I will cry. Come together. I was thinking of playing some FPS, but with my current setup, I don't think I'll be able to stream it without a lot of lag or terrible quality probably like 360p instead of 1080 <laughs> the frame rate would be terrible I'm amazed that I'm not lagging today this isn't the first stream I've done I've unlisted a few of those old streams and those where I played games were very laggy. I still couldn't figure out why. I adjusted the game settings. Well, try tried my best to adjust. Because not all of them could be adjusted. It was very weird. You never know what I played. Okay? One day, I may replay the game. And hopefully not lag. Does it look okay? It's probably terrible on the camera. It looks fine to me. <laughs> Imagine using saffron. I do have saffron at home, but I'm pretty sure my mom will not take it likely if I use the saffron. <laughs> To dye mooncake <laughs> be ridiculous. But I probably can sell it for a very high price if I do intend to sell. Like, ooh, saffron mooncake. Who wants some? Honestly, saffron has no taste. It's just, I mean, from what I've tasted, it tastes like nothing. <laughs> it's just orange. Honestly, at my workplace, you know, I'm, in, I'm not going to name the place, okay? I don't need to dox myself. They do sometimes put out saffron coated mozzarella. It's as if they ordered too much mozzarella. There's like several flavors of it, like truffle mozzarella, saffron mozzarella, olive oil. I have no idea what they taste like. I don't think I want to know. But mozzarella is honestly nice. I like to eat the small little balls. I don't know what the name is. I'm not going to butcher the name of stream. But it's also, also something similar to mozzarella. Or oh, it is mozzarella but just smaller and round balls. It's like, uh, I don't know how to put it. It's very nice to eat it with uh, parma ham and melons. This three combination is the best. Parma ham, melon and the small little mozzarella balls. I have tried a few of those hard cheese at my old place. Most of them are too strong for me, honestly. I tried blue cheese, it's like, eh, no, mm, immediate, I want out. But one cheese is quite similar to, I think, Parmesan. Yeah, something that's quite similar to Parmesan would be uh, Pecorino Romano. I quite like that cheese. It's very smoky, salty. It's, 
it's like salty smoky parmesan essentially there's also quite a few that I tried before like softer cheese they are nice but I can't remember their, their name there's this one cheese I think it's also from the pecorino branch I don't know how to classify cheese as probably gonna be like booed by Italians but there's this one I think pecorino something with wine in it it's very nice it's a very sweet aftertaste afterwards and usually I wouldn't go for such a cheese but a friend let me try it and it was nice maybe one day I can go back grab some to eat and no I will not be doing a cheese tasting stream <laughs> that would be too expensive <laughs> I don't have the budget for that got the orange done yes I think we're done with the colouring I'm not too satisfied with the brown let's recolour it I guess it's my brown oh If you use cocoa powder for the brown, it looks about the same as well. It's just with the cocoa powder added into the dough, it's more dry. Eh. <laughs> I don't need a gym to work out. <laughs> this is a workout itself. I mean, but the fact I'm eating it afterwards probably doesn't help. <laughs> I think these small little things. It's like probably not much calories, but no, you're in fact wrong. They have very high calorie pastries. Okay. Okay, we're done. Oh. Okay. Those are all done. Let's clean up the area a bit. Where's my tissue? Okay. Okay. We don't want to get the color things up. We're done. Oh god, the, dis the tissue is disgusting. <laughs> this is a mixture of dye. Honestly, it looks saffronish. Does it not? Saffron. I can lie to my family and say I use saffron. Please do not lie. Okay, oh. let's start. Okay, I actually do have some leftovers. Oh, but you can't see them from yesterday when I made the big version. This is the lotus paste with melon seeds. This is the green tea one. This were the only two flavors I made yesterday. So we're gonna do that first. I'll be explaining how we're gonna do the next step. But first, let's grab our white doll. I can't reach it over to my tissue. The white dough over here. I'm hope I hope there's no colours on my glove. Hold up, let me change gloves. I don't trust my gloves. New gloves. I don't know how I'm gonna get colour food colouring out of the uniform. I'm pretty sure they're hard to get out. Oh god, my neck is broken. <laughs> my neck is broken. I can't put on gloves. I struggle with them. Even as a science student and a pastry a chef, I struggle with gloves. They never fit me. I technically I took a size bigger. Because they are darker for some reason. My size don't hide much. Okay, this is our white dough. We're gonna portion them out. What I'll be using to mold the mooncake would be this. So you can see, okay. Alright. So the camera angle is terrible. A design is placed inside. And we roll the dough together to form a ball. Then essentially press the plunger down to get a shape. You'll be seeing what I'll be talking about later. I have six buttons over here. Yeah, I'll be using you know six. Five, I can't count chat. Five patterns I'll be using. So for the 
lotus paste, I'll be using this very oriental, I guess, square pattern. Can you see, Jack? This is the pattern I'll be using. Okay, first we have to portion it out. This small is the medium size small. It fits about 50 grams inside. So usually for my paste, I'll give it about 20 grams plus minus. And for the dough itself, you take about uh, 25 grams. Sometimes I go up to 30 because the dough splits and we need to patch up. This mold could be bought off online. I'm pretty sure Amazon sells it. This is my bowl of cake flour, <laughs> which I'll be using to dust my mold. Because if you do not dust it well, it's a nightmare to get out, okay? Tap out all the excess flour. We do not need the excess flour. Okay, then we measure up our dough. There's so much. I'm dropping dough onto my floor, chat. In my room, in my bedroom. It's gonna be a hell of cleanup. I'll probably do it tomorrow. There's still too much dough. Okay, nope, still too much. 26 grams. Okay, that's alright. I just shut. Oh, just sample one. We don't have a rolling pin, sometimes you don't need one. You have this scraper, this is a good enough substitute for a rolling pin. Yeah, it's kind of squish it down. Because this dough is very rubbery, I guess is the word. It will crack very easily. This is our lotus paste. This is our flattened ball of dough. You put it in, it kind of just mow upwards. Usually with a rolling pin, you'll get it more thinner. At this point, I'm going to pause. Okay, chat. I'm going to get my rolling pin. This is horrible. I can't deal with it. BRB. Rolling pin, where are you? Let me mute myself while I go out. I'm back. I'm back with my rolling pin. Yeah. Okay. Let's sweep this aside. Pull it back out again. Draw a ball. It's a nice ball. Kind of. Let's roll it out. Usually you can do it between two cling wrap pieces to avoid your dough from sticking onto your rolling pin but eh as long as it rolls out and you take a note that cracks very easily you see the cracks it's okay it's fine not to worry about those just press down again <laughs> I 
I like to scrape up the dough, put it in my palm. It will break a lot, honestly. This is why I always use 30 grams. If it breaks too much to your liking, just roll it out again. Flatten it. Oh, where's the dough? Use your rolling pin. Expand it a bit further. So you think it's about there. It's large enough. Pick it up. Get off. Get off. Get your lotus again. Wrap. Wrap. Honestly, it's not much of a skill. You just try your best. It's like rolling a dumpling. There. There's any hole. Patch it up. Probably can't see it on camera, but I'm rolling it. You can see my shadow though. That's good enough. So there's the ball. Then. Yeah. So we now get the plunger again. It's been dusted with flour. Close it. Press down. Make sure you do it several times because the the dough was very rubbery. It will take some time before it retains shape. Eh. Now let me grab my tray. Lift it up. Place it on the tray. This is probably not the best view. But ta-da! One of it is done. <laughs> this is the lotus place. Let me set my tray here. Okay, now we just repeat the steps, okay? For all the flavours. And until we finish up the dough. It's okay if we run out of the paste. We have, I have more somewhere. Yep. And I will just mix it up. Oh, this paste is actually pre-made. The only thing that I've changed a bit would be my chocolate. Because the chocolate paste that they sell outside, honestly, does not taste good. It tastes horrible. And to get a very nice, rich chocolate paste, okay, you have to get a good chocolate. Best if you get those eating chocolate. Okay, let me just show you what it is. Okay. And you can get a very good paste. So, wait. This is the best I can go. This is my chocolate paste. Essentially what I took was actually this lotus paste, white lotus paste. And then add in melt, melted chocolate, dark chocolate, and then give it a very good mix. Make sure they are very well incorporated. Then you get the paste. Honestly, not, nothing beats my chocolate paste. It's honestly nice. Last year, I did chocolate and green tea flavours. And I did like custard lava, liu xing, yue bik, yeah. So I essentially did a scented liquid lava mooncake. I was surprised that it actually leaked out like the filet because there's many many chances that it could just not cook up. And I'm honestly impressed. So I'll just continue measuring up the dough and weighing them. Last year, yeah. For the lava filling, what I did last year was actually use condensed milk to get the liquid texture. There's probably other easier methods, but condensed milk is sweet by itself and it's easily mixed well with other things and wouldn't really solidify like if you use chocolate as your liquid filling instead. I thought of using ganache, but Ganache is has is also it does set ganache so it wouldn't have worked out well but it would be a very nice cream center if I use ganache instead. So but I'm this I'm gonna go for the plain boring style. I'm just gonna my normal chocolate and all that jazz. But I guess this year I'm doing a bit extra given that I have blueberry cheesecake and lemon cheesecake. 
the reason why I have this two flavour is because I have left over cream cheese from making cheesecake. And I rather it be used than sitting in my fridge, you know. So they are being used as that. Mm. Like what I said at the start of stream, I might not be doing these two cheesecake flavors on stream because I'll be using a. Okay, I've already piped my blueberry confit and my lemon curd into a mold and it's frozen in the fridge. And for the filling itself, I'm not using a paste again, I'm using cream cheese frosting. I wanted to make it in a cheesecake but I didn't have all the ingredients at hand so frosting it was. It probably tasted okay. Then mixing some of the blueberry and some of the lemon. I have candied lemon peels inside for texture. Don't know how well they'll turn out because they're soft as well. But other than those very difficult to handle on stream because center of it is frozen ice. I will not be able to press it down. And the cheesecake mixture, it's yeah the frosting itself has solidified. I checked in the fridge. It's like butter texture right now. I put probably mold it but I have to do it fast. And it'll probably like be very messy on stream. I'm not gonna do that. I'm a mess enough. We don't need added mess. Okay, we're almost done with our white door. Oh my gosh. This is a very repetitive process, honestly. My table is also very, very small. It's sad, sad table. But it's better than my other table. In my previous streams, I've been using a, how do you call it? You know those breakfast table that you sell on Amazon, you can see in some shows. Something similar to that, but a bit bigger. I, I've been streaming on that. On the floor, yes. Floor gang, you're floor gang. <laughs> and it's very painful. <laughs> I guess painful for my back. And my ass. Right? Okay. I think I'm mostly done with our white ones. So we continue doing up the rest. I probably won't finish all this on stream. I'll leave it after stream. I don't want to bore you guys. We'll be finishing up all this first. Before I grab the new ones. The uncolored version, like this, is itself is very is easier to work with as compared to the colored ones, and it still cracks very easily. Honestly, you can just give up. So I don't like making it like the door and resting it for long periods of time. It gets stiff, but for the sake of the stream, I had to do it to prep my door early. <laughs> Way too early, probably. So you get this result right now okay doesn't have to look pretty now it'll look pretty later it's like plastic surgery you know that's not a good analogy but okay see if it's cracking like that not to worry this is where we are spare though this block comes into place just grab flatten add on this is not a very professional way of working but it works, all right. Honestly, if you make this door from the, I guess, from the from the scratch, yes, that's the word. Oh God, English. It'll be less hard to work with as compared to this door. So while you actually roll it when it's cracked, make sure to compress. Give it a tight squeeze. So it wouldn't go 
Oh, it doesn't crack when you press them all down. There's so much. You can actually use some water to smoothen out, but I don't want to do that today. And then we again press some more. It's a bit too big, but it's fine. Press down on the plunger a couple of times again. Ta da! Done. So it looks like this. Okay, look at the height difference. That's because of the dough. That's fine. Thank you. I do enjoy what I'm doing. See, see? Yes. Chat is very small. I'm sorry. Bro. I might do another cooking stream. Probably not mooncake. But I don't know what would be viable for stream considering many of the things requires a mixing a mixer and I don't think you want to hear a mixer being operated on stream it's loud and honestly I only can stream at this timing for privacy reasons of course I hope my neighbors don't hate me I'm not that loud I'm louder usually without when I'm not streaming you know Okay, this was better than before. It's still a bit cracked, as you can see. There's a small crack. It's fine. Just cover up. If only you can do that in our lives. Cover our mistake with more mistake. Alright, then again. Oh, again, remember to coat your more. If not, you're gonna have troubles later. Press down again. Right. Ta da! Third one. <laughs> All the height varies. It's terrible. <laughs> we have five balls to go for the lotus flavored. I don't know how to describe it if I've never tasted lotus before, but it's sweet paste. That's the best thing I can describe it as. It's not, not descriptive, I'm sorry. Mm, maybe one day you have the chance to try it. It's nice. Thank you, CC. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I? Uh, I forgot to grab the traditional ones when I was in the kitchen. Gathered my rolling pin. <laughs> Alright. Four more to go. It's a long process. It's already one twenty. I'm probably just stream until three. At which point I'll probably start to pack up the unused dough and continue tomorrow. Cause I need to sleep, chat. It's my off day, but I'm not gonna be doing this until five a.m. Oh, this is in a way. <laughs> you can get mooncake. I'm pretty sure. There's sales around right now, given the fact that the festival is probably in like uh, X number of days. It's this is, I think, I think 9 or 10 September. I forgot what I said at the start of chat. <laughs> the door keep breaking, Christ. If you think that the dough is difficult, 
to work with. I'll tell you the fact that the chocolate paste is even harder. Because by nature itself, the paste itself is very, very oily. And adding chocolate to the paste tend to suck up the oil for some reason. I have no idea why. Science? Food science? Anyone? No? But they do that. It's sad. But that is like equally crumbly as compared to the dough that I'm working with right now. It's good enough. We are aiming for quantity over quality at this point. This is going to be given out on Friday. I have a deadline, okay? Usually, if you do the molding, I guess, early, if you make it early, it will look smoother, the door, as compared to how wrinkly, that's the word, it is right now. A bit, bit. I might post the recipe for the traditional one later, I guess, in the description. I haven't write it up yet. <laughs> Sorry. It's on paper, not on document. I might do that later. For this snow skin one, it's easy to make because you don't need an oven, but you will need to get the premix and the base or instruction of the premix. Oh, I did a dump today for making the dough. I read the packaging once. I poured all the flour in and I threw the packaging into the big bin. And I couldn't get it back. <laughs> but I do still vaguely remember the instructions, like the quantity wise. Instruction is pretty easy, you just mix everything together. Quantity wise, I just kind of remember it, sort of, and yeah, you get it. Like this. Ta da! Another one. Yeesh. So cracked up. Oh, la. Oh, so as what I said at the start of the stream, there's a lot of, I guess, law history behind this mooncake festival thing and the mooncakes being eaten. There's actually one I learned from school. Like, I can't exactly remember the details, but apparently mooncakes were used in the past, okay, in ancient China, don't know when, but uh, as a message holder. So, in the past, they only had the traditional kind. They would tend to write on paper or something and shove the paper into the filling, the paste, this. They shove it here. And... Once the boon cake get deli gets delivered to others, they will get the message, I guess. It's like a, are those fortune cookies? Yes, fortune cookies, but moon cake version. <laughs> oh, it's so big. I can't fit it into the mold. Sometimes you gotta squeeze it in to get it fitted into the mold. Oh. As you can, <laughs> I pressed too hard and you can see it came out. It's like, it's not to worry, just get rid of the trimmings. The one done. And my mooncakes are gradually getting higher. 
because I had to use more to Okay, last one of the locusts before we move on to another flavor. Okay. All right. Before I started the stream, I had, I think, 93 followers on Twitter. I do hope we get to 100 soon. Very nice milestone to do, to get to. And, well, I hope people stop subscribing to my channel as well. I'll be posting more content, hopefully, in the future, near future. I'm still editing videos. Okay. I do work. And I have to find time to uh, do editing. As much as I love to stream on my off days, it gets tiring if you don't rest, right? Or to all the YouTubers out there that are also working a full-time job and juggling a VTubing career, just make sure you come first and rest when you need to. Because you are more important, okay, to all the people out there, honestly. I'm sure the chat, your chat, is more concerned about your well-being as well. Just tell them, explain, and they'll get it. It's okay to cancel streams, it's okay, it's understandable. Alright, now we get rid of this power, let's move it to one side. Okay, it's still, in, it's still on screen. <laughs> out of sight, yes, good enough. I have two balls of green tea. Let's just do these two first. Because I'm very lazy to roll the paste. It's probably easier than the dough though. Okay, my green. Ah, my wire. Okay, same thing as the wh white dough. We have to measure out. We do about 25 to 30, the dough. Is the light. Oh yeah, I got some biscuits before I started a stream for a snack. Where did I chew them? I have no idea. I'm hungry. <laughs> I had a bowl of porridge for dinner after waking up from my nap at 7 p.m. It was a nice nap. Before I had to rush to make my feeling. <laughs> Just roll a few of those to do. Since we only have two balls of green, green tea paste. Okay. Same thing as before. Flatten it. And roll it a bit. It will bounce back. It's just like that. It's sad. But this is very lax plastic, I guess. The traditional dough is actually very sticky. And flies. Generally recommended when you're making it anything with the traditional dough. Okay, if it has a hole, just patch it up. It's fine, not to worry. Just keep squeezing, pushing, and praying that the feeling don't come out. Now, we have a very big green meatball. Oh, for the green tea, we are going to use another shape more. Where's the mold? Okay, we'll be using this shape. Oh, this is in a way again, dang it. This. I guess, sakura petals? Flower, yes. Trying to fit the thing into the mold. Come out, please, help. Go in. Is it in? Nope. It's stuck. <coughs> Out. 
sometimes it does this then it's okay so for some it jam they have a very specific slot at the top I don't think you can see it but here yeah you just slot it in there and turn it in Eesh. okay pop it in press down Ooh. that was not a nice sound what the heck happened the more I came undone. <laughs> Mr. Green. It's not very clear because the door has been sitting for too long, but it's okay. I've been I've been placing it here and it's blocking. I'm sorry. Make sure to tighten the mold so it won't drop out again. More flour. Oh, this I know what this reminds me of. That was this one year for my birthday. Okay, my birthday happens to be on Christmas, so my cake options are quite limited. They do have normal cakes, but most of them are log cakes, and log log cakes are nice. I like chocolate cakes. And um, this one year I got this chewy log cake, where one of the ingredients was. I think I can't remember the name was some sort of gum. It, it, it kind of reminds me of the cake, the texture. It tasted meh because they didn't use the quality cho chocolate. Sorry, I'm judging on people's use of chocolate. Let's say no to cheap chocolate, okay? They shouldn't exist unless it's for decoration. But no, compound chocolate for baking, no, tastes like crap. Do not. Any chocolate you want to put into your baking that is not a decor, please get better chocolate. I'm not sponsored, but Hershey chocolate chips are good if you're using for baking. They are tasty. Okay, the chocolate taste is nice. You may think Hershey is cheap, but yeah, it's better than those cheap chocolate. I'm pretty sure you guys would understand what cheap chocolate tastes like. Like those, what's that? coins for for example sometimes for Chinese New Year we do have sales of these chocolate coins that honestly is just very cheap chocolate only rarely you will get those that still taste okay it's cheap chocolate but doesn't taste like it so kind of have to pray for those but they're not too bad sometimes they just love to give it out in a red packet like in, instead of actually giving money but eh, it's a nice treat at school eee. Okay. if you see <laughs> the previous one the first one the shape is very lumpy and all and this is prettier honestly before and after photo <laughs> eh. okay. for this I can actually just re-roll it it might crack again when you re-roll but you can re-roll it remold it I'm hungry chat You can still see this faint, very faint flower pattern. It's okay, just flip to another side. And use that instead. Okay, this is prettier than just now. Though it's cracked on the side over here. It's fine. Because how elastic the dough is, right? It kind of just loses shape, if that makes sense, over time. 
as compared to when the dough is fresh. So, the shape might not be thin, but it's okay. It still tastes nice. Looks pretty now. In like a matter of seconds, it'll look ugly when it returns to its puffiness. Okay. Run out of the green paste. Let's just go on to the next flavor. It's a chocolate. Yay, my favorite. For the chocolate, we'll be using our... Let's move this over back. Chocolate paste that I was talking about earlier. Eh, chocolate ball. I can't open the thing right on a. So we got this chocolate box pearls, I guess. Can you see it? Yeah. I'm gonna put them into the mixture. Oh hi, no no. I need to mod you. I need to remember to mod you. I'm just gonna throw a bunch inside. Then we're gonna use our trusty hand hands to kind of mix everything together. It might be a bit difficult as I was explaining how I said call crumbly it is. I'm just gonna pour I think everything in. This chocolate pearl is nice to eat. There's like the brown one with like caramel flavor. And then there's the white one which is just white chocolate. But they're both nice. And a good crunch to your things. We like to put it in our chocolate mousse cake and our face to give a bit of texture to the sponge and then the mousse. Slow more is on because I can't read, okay? I need to see the chat to read. Even though there's no one chatting. Now I'm gonna mod, mod you. No, it's okay. You can sleep, I'm still gonna mod you. Do you want mooncakes? I think I may have mooncakes to give to you afterwards. <laughs> Might. That's the keyword. Oh, hi, Binky. <laughs> what is your cat doing? Why is your cat watching me? Is it like that time where you said Binky was looking at another person's stream when you were watching with your friend? Was it you or was it someone else? I don't have friends. <laughs> My hands are dirty. I'm not gonna. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off slow mode for you, okay? Are you happy? No, no. Take it. Get rid of the gloves. <laughs> Struggles. Gloves. Where is the setting? Can I actually adjust the setting now? Eh. Hold up. YouTube open. Mm. Settings, chat settings. Hmm. Can I edit it? Let me hold up. Let me try. Chat. Chat. Uh, 
hat. Chat. Ooh. I found it. Okay, storm mode is off. Are you happy now? Oh, my glove broke. Okay. I might change a new glove soon. Sure, you're free. <laughs> Go to sleep, we have class tomorrow, I think. Yep, crumbly, very crumbly, as I said. I'm gonna throw this to one side. Oh no, wait, I'm gonna use it, not throw it to one side. <laughs> Bin. Just gonna do a few of these as well again. Like two two brown ones before I move on to the next flavor. Ooh, crumbly, very crumbly. Wow, don't be late. If I meet you, I'll give you the mooncake, okay? This is the paste. It's gonna make two of those. Mm. Close enough. So again, about 25 grams or lesser. Probably that's the better, you know, the dough will crack again. Let's throw this back and back to our dough. Measure it out. Okay. It's so elastic, I hate it. I'm not gonna make Majima for you. <laughs> Stop with your Yakuza. The dough itself is really hard to work with. I don't know what Maj Majima's color scheme is. You're the one that plays Yakuza, not me. Can I change the mold again to... Mm, what should we make chocolate to? Let's just make chocolate to be the rose pattern. Oh, they dropped to the floor. Oh, I'll rip. No eye patch. You can draw it on yourself and I give it to you. Maybe I shouldn't use the rose, it's not as visible. <laughs> you can kind of see it vaguely. Alright, let's do another one. I wish I can make a smiley face with an eye patch, but the doll it's very elastic. If I am able to do that, it'd be a miracle. And I know chat is very high up, but I'm too lazy to shift it down. Come in, please. Okay. 
Oof. My mom's probably gonna complain how ugly they all look. Cause the dough is so elastic, I couldn't do anything about it. Eh, tada! It's better than the before one. You gotta watch life as it expands back to its shape. Hi Santosh! Welcome to the stream. I'm making mooncakes, yes. <laughs> Eesh, okay. So what we are left with actually is our two cheesecake flavours. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'll be back grabbing my cheesecake items. Hold on, give me a minute or so. Can you mute chat? I mean, Mike. Mike, mute. Okay, I'm back with the two mixture. So, this two is what I'm talking about, the one that I put in the mold. This is our blueberry confit of sorts. And this is my lemon curd. They are both very frozen. I don't know what, <laughs> how am I supposed to press it in the mold, but we'll figure it out. Okay, and this is my lemon curd. Cheesecake frosting mixture thing. And this is the blueberry one. Hat. They're not pretty to look at, honestly. I'm gonna try it out and see whether it works. <laughs> try the blueberry. What? Drops. Oh, yep, as I said, it's very sticky. Look at it. Sticky. I'm gonna walk fast with this. Oh no, the chocolate's getting in. <laughs> I think it's too big. This is like the size of the dough. Just remove some. Good night. This is the cheesecake I had mixture. I'm going to grab some of the cheesecake dough. The blueberry ones. Okay. I should have probably done dough before this. Wait, let me change my gloves again. Ugh, gloves.
I just see my model moving around like crazy because <laughs> of my camera angle. I really have to show you guys my setup later on Twitter. I'll tweet it out with the final products. I say this is not my best work. I want to redo it. Maybe I'll have the time to get more ingredients tomorrow. Doubt. Oh, don't know how this is gonna work out. It's a very big blue meatball right now. <laughs> That's leaking everywhere. I clearly did not think this through when I was thinking of making this. It's alright. It's a very big ball. Change the more to something. Let's see, hope it fits in. Nothing mix up. Okay, this is good enough. <laughs> Anything I mix up, I'm gonna throw it away. It's okay. We don't see it. Oh, it's so hard because of the. <laughs> Side. It's so hard to press down. I can't press it down. This is leaking out. <laughs> I should have tested it before I tried this. Oh no. Yeah, with ODI. I mean, oh, I forgot to fly it. Oh, come out, please. <laughs> this is the result of not putting flour. Oh, hold up. It just gets stuck inside. <laughs> but it kind of works, sort of. We know it works. <laughs> Hold up. We just remove this. It's getting softer, I think. Pretty sure the inside is leaking out. Fly it. Don't forget again. I didn't fully remove the old ones. Get, get rid. Good enough, you know, chat, this is good enough. <laughs> we don't have high expectations here. Okay, one more, one more try for the lemon. Let me grab the other... Mold. <laughs> I almost sat on the ball of chocolate paste. <laughs> As you can clearly tell, I'm very organized in the kitchen with the mess on my table. Pop in the other mold. Fly. Step up excess. Then we grab the mold. Door. Okay. I'm getting mixing the colors everywhere. Blueberry can sit down side. Let's grab my eee, lemon. Oh, I almost forgot. This is stiffer for some reason. Why? Or is it just my hand? Oh, it's getting softer already. I added gelatin in both of them. So they'll be like, not jello, but softer. And it wouldn't melt immediately.
Okay, this is our paste, I guess, for our lemon cheesecake. It's going to be impossible to wrap this all up. Why did I make the dough so early? Huh? The only thing it does is causing me problem now. There. I don't think I can put it in the mold. Let's try our best, anyways. <laughs> there! Though the sides are coming out, the filling is... It looks, it looks like a cool marble texture though. So, eh, good enough. Here. Okay. We're almost at the two hour mark. We just finish it up. Let me just eat this lump over here and tell you what it tastes like. In case I'm eating ASMR. It's, the taste is nice. The shape is not nice. It's not too bad. All, all I taste is the skin. All right. I made a mess in my room. It's almost two. One minute from two, actually. I think I'll wrap up over here. Okay. Uh, for those that came, thank you for coming to a very, very scuff stream in a very scuff setup. <laughs> I showed Noob Noob the setup picture before stream. They rated it 10 out of 10, which is honestly, thank you very much for the confidence in my setup. So this is all our end products over here. I can show it on. Wait, hold on. He, here. How do I show? What well, is this good enough? Angle, angle, camera. D. It's very colorful, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna end soon. Over here, and you clear up the mess and clean up everything. Honestly, it's a mess. At this rate, not to waste food. I'ma just restart the batch. And keep a filling, obviously. Then just redo the batch dough. Okay, my go to waste, I'm gonna try to make something out of it. It's okay. Because I do not really do not like the texture of the dough. Given how the end product looks. Honestly, if it's how do I put it? A freshly made, like letting dough sit out. It is prettier. Let me see if I can find a picture on my phone. Hold on. Oh, my hand, my gloves are so oily. Oof. Do I have a picture? Press. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. I don't think you can. I don't know how well it will show on screen. I'm showing this. This is from last year. 
you can see how detailed the pattern looks and so pretty it is this is the lava mooncake that i made last year and this was like the dough that was like freshly made and rested the correct amount of times before being used and this is what i have today it's not too bad the white one but the rest is horrendous <laughs> look what is it supposed to be i don't know but do not over rest your dough it's the same concept as your bread do not overproof your bread eh. or you're gonna have results that you don't know want Let's see uh, 10 more minutes before it's a two hour mark i need to drag this on chat Hmm, what can we do? I mean, eh. You can wash me as I roll <laughs> my chocolate paste again. You can pre roll them and then use it tomorrow if I re decide to remake my dough. Because, yeah, honestly, the pre mix is not cheap. But I'm so triggered with the results. Sorry, my OCD is kicking in. My chef OCD. But this is very nice to eat. Let me just eat some. Mm. Nice. Balls. Oh, I do have the almond flakes over here. Can't really see it. It's not toasted because I was lazy. That's why I didn't use it. But you can use it in substitute of melon seeds if you do not have melon seeds. This is what melon seeds look like. Eesh. These are the melon seeds. Ooh, two drops. Melon seeds. They're very tasty itself. They do come the shell. There's shell versions one. It's not really as suited to make and use. But if you can't find them, this is the best alternative we have, which is other nuts, which is your almond flakes. But I'm pretty sure almond flakes are more expensive compared to melon seeds. What melon does it come from? I don't ask me to ask Google that. I know there was a need of either. It's a mess over here. I don't know how to clean up. Eesh. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's flour on my bed chat. Behind me. In front of this table over here, it's my bed, and there's flour on my bed. I don't know what to do. I'm hungry. There's trash everywhere. E. You know what? This is good enough. I'm like ten minutes from two hours. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm just gonna end the stream now. Okay, for those that came today, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, smack. See you dreams tonight. Eh, gloves. Bye bye. Heart shape. I tried this yesterday, did not turn up well. Heart shape. Eh, good enough, chat. <laughs> Alright, bye.